The first thing I'm going to do is draw a rough sketch of the triangle ABC. I put the longest side on the bottom, which is AB, of length 10 centimetres. I label the third vertex C. The length of BC is 8 centimetres. The measure of the angle ABC is 60 degrees. So ABC is the angle at B. It's called the included angle because it's between the two sides that are given. So it's included between the two sides that we know. And it's of measure 60 degrees. Now I draw the accurate diagram which is called the construction. So I take my ruler and I'm following my sketch and I measure out 10 centimetres. This ruler starts at zero so I have to go right to the edge and I'll go across to 10 centimetres. Take away the ruler and label the two endpoints A and B. So that length is 10 centimetres long. The angle at B is 60 degrees. I measure the angle with a protractor. So I put the protractor on B, making sure that the line points to the zero, and measure around to 60 degrees. I put a dot where the 60 degrees is, take away the protractor, and with my ruler, I draw from B up to that dot. And I'm going to produce that line on out. Now I want 8 centimetres along this line segment. To get the 8 centimetres, I take my compass and I stretch out my compass to 8 centimetres. So I'm using my ruler here. And remember on this ruler, zero is at the end, to 8 centimetres. Okay. The compass is used for drawing circles, so the radius here is 8 centimetres long. I'm just going to draw part of the circle, which is called an arc. So I'm going to draw an arc of length 8 centimetres and it's got to cut that line. So that means the distance from B to that point of intersection is 8 centimetres long. That's the point C. I take my ruler and I join C to A. And that's my triangle complete.